day, everybody. It is Claxton and Hunter here, and if you enjoy this video, remember to subscribe for more Ruby videos. Today, we are doing another Yasher Pass. People are going to think we're a clothing channel, but I am trying to, like, separate these now. You know what I mean? Because okay. we're still recording within the same week where we've recorded four of these because so <laughs> much merch has dropped. Yeah. And we are talking about, I, I'm going to call it the D&D &D collection. I, I Maybe that's trademarked. I don't know. Is but it, it's called, called Remnant Quest. And so I think that, like, oh. it's... I don't know. Dungeons I don't know. and Dragons is owned by Wizards of the Coast. Yeah, which is and so owned by I, I was thinking, I was just like, can you say company. that your thing is Dungeons and Dragons and in, in anyway? But Huntress and the Dragon, <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, so Remnant Quest, a Remnant Quest. Mm -hmm. And so I have like mixed feelings about this. So let's just go in order, okay? Uh, Y'all know that I, again, am not a big fan of small stuff on the front. <laughs> However, the reason why I say that I'm kind of 50-50 with this is because I'm like, first, they did get the colors right this time. Yes! Oh They're my red, god! White, white, black, black and yellow. yellow, you think? So, I feel like that I should give them what, like, that's the bare minimum, but I feel like that I should just give them a Where's the like, party poppers? Oh my god. And so, yes, like, it is small at the front. Can we, I'm sorry, people, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Can we talk about Dapper Gus in the background <laughs> of that photo for like a like that minimalism. Yeah. And so I feel like Not that I can live with this. And I yeah. do like this, like that the RWB, the, like it's subtle. Yeah. It's not just like a little ruby icon in the middle mm -hmm. of your boobs, right? Like there's <laughs> actually a reason for this type of subtlety. And so I will allow it. Not for this price, <laughs> but if it was on sale, I think I'd be willing. And I do <laughs> like the summoning circle at the back. I think it's really cool. I do uh, wish that they use something else though, because you have Ruby's Rose, but then you have the Rose in the, the middle. What are the wording? Um, well, I think it's Veil, uh, Veil Beacon. Beacon Academy. Oh, um, so all the Beacon academies, okay. I think, and then we got some uh, symbols at the back. So yeah, that's the only thing is that I don't know why they use the Rose because the Rose is already Ruby's. Yeah. Right, and so I'm a little yeah. confused about like maybe. Well, I don't know what they could put in the middle, to be honest. But like maybe it could have been odds pin symbol or something Salem's like that. Little mark. Yeah, like I don't know, but I do like the idea though of like that Full Metal Alchemist esque like summoning. Yeah, you know, I did get Full Metal Alchemist type circle. So I do like this. Again, it's sort of like this is like should we give a letter grade? I was thinking about that. I would say that this is a B minus, and yeah. I would buy a B, B minus. minus on sale like that's yeah. how i feel about this i just wanted one. i want you because you gave me this cursed idea when yeah. you said a little thing in the middle of your boobs and there was d20 dice and i oh just imagine someone who is getting laid who is really into dnd the person took their top off and were like natural 20. Oh Anyways, my god. So this shirt's really neat. Yeah, I, think I it's really great. like this juniper one. I like the whole like remnant quest like type like that yeah. aesthetic. I think that everybody looks really good. It's it nice says to see. volume three on it. Yeah, nice to see Pira's relevant. Bad things happen to Pira and volume I three. I also like the slight outfit adjustments. Yeah. Like, it doesn't seem like Pira has a lot, but Nora has no, more she's of a wearing vest. Those types. Right. Like Ren has a different outfit. John has like armor yeah. and metal and it's stuff. It's giving me that big, like classic science fiction book cover, like yeah. He Man Masters of the Universe Conan the Barbarian artwork. Yeah. That like a lot of early D and D. Or like had. fantasy too, you yeah. Know, right? Yeah. Not just science fiction. But yeah, I really science like fiction fantasy, yeah. Like yeah. the little point point yeah. shoes. I don't Ren it, has very really Peter great. Pan pants going that's on. That's so eighties. Right I love it so much. Um, I probably wouldn't Look at, get it just uh, because it's not like can we go back to that photo of Lindsay? god they're great like i i like it but it's one of those things where i don't really need a juniper shirt you know what i mean but oh, i feel man. like that this is the only one recently that does have all of them on yeah together and so like I how feel often like that, do you get new pure merch yeah really? exactly and i feel like the color is very vibrant and so like i would say like this is a solid a like I think yeah that this i think is that's nice. an a the design is large everybody yeah. has new clothes it's not I just like, it. like it's original the, art the red right? pops it's really nice and so i i think that this is definitely an a and so that's why i kind of want to change us to letters because mm -hmm. i wouldn't buy anything in here but that's just because <laughs> i'm not like i don't play dnd i'm not i'm not the right? type exactly you know? but for people that are like the type i feel like that this is actually really really good and i love this this looks okay. like atari game cut like you yeah know it, I mean? yeah it like, looks like an atari i, know, like, I love how the, retro the right and console, 80s it looks yeah i really like this it looks so like 
Oh god, yeah, it's just oh, I love it so much. Yeah, god. this is really, really I think cool. this is a, a pass campaign for characters. And like an A. Exactly. I uh well you mean a yes. Or a yes and we're, like, we're not passing. Oh not pass. Yeah. I think it's a yay uh, and a and so a campaign uh, for characters level 11 to 20. And so I really like this. Like, there's a little bit of a flavor text. You got a I little think that's logo her thing. Volume 4 outfit? At least uh, it kind of looks like the volume. No, four well, outfit. I think it's probably a fusion, yeah. right? Because she it has different like, yeah, groups, that's true. too. And so I think that that's just like really, really cool because they changed, obviously, I like how, they changed yeah. their outfits as well. I like how it already has that kind of crinkle. Uh, it's just. Uh, there's it's nice, like, like, contrast to it, too. Villains like, you can shake a sniper scythe at. Oh, I love I the like, little. I like the red and the blue. Uh, Blue contrast. I, really I love they're like using that. the wyvern. Like all the colors just Aaron's look really just so nice. great. And uh, then we have the summoning circle and uh, the dice. And so this is a box, I think. So it's the same okay. uh, summoning circle from before. Which so I guess fine. you roll your dice In inside there, of so the, the box and stuff. I do I do like that it has like a little wood card yeah. on the side. But I don't know if this is $78. I, especially like because it's separate. And so I've yeah. heard that it would make more sense like. To sell it all at to one. To sell it all at one for that price. Because yeah. I get it. People may want the tray but mm -hmm. not the dice they mm -hmm. may already have dice that they like and are attached but also to. i know but people who like are into D, D who have like hundreds of dice that's true too and so i feel like this is a little you too know? it's a box i get it's bamboo but it's still and a it, box it's a nice it's box it's a 78 dollars it's Canadian a nice box, box that's the only but thing it's that a i'm just box. like if if this is the going price for dice trays Okay, but it is my understanding that this is not worth it mm -hmm. sold separately. It would make more sense if they were sold together. Now let's look at the actual dice because the I, actual dice I think might be worth. I it. heard criticism really? about this dice from D. See, okay, so the dice are cheaper than the box. How does yeah, that work? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think the dice look neat. I I I've heard uh, criticism about the dice. Okay, really? and so uh, let me explain. I okay. guess first of all, some people said that these looked like gummy bears. Like they want to put them oh, in their yeah. mouth. They do uh, look, tasty. They look tasty. They have that kind please of Please don't. Tide a, please don't swallow. Mm. Uh, um, a warning. But um, the criticism that I heard was basically that they're very basic. Like I've seen di and I've seen dice That's true. that have specs yeah. where you hold them in the light and there's yeah. a rainbow. Yeah. I've seen dice with like like little terrariums inside. And I understand that these are like mass produced, yeah. right? But I think it could have been cool, like instead of just having like harder. red and black dice, mm -hmm. why not make it transparent or and then have like rose the whole, petals like, on the inside? Or make like the ruby team like you had yeah. in the art so there's like a white and yellow and black. And I don't know. Because like that's the only thing that I'm like kind of lukewarm on is the fact mm -hmm. that they're just red and black dice. I think it would have been cooler to have because I, I, maybe mm -hmm. I'll uh, send a picture to Noah so he can put it here. But like Stardust retweeted this photo and it was mm -hmm. these transparent dice and they had these little rainbow flex on the inside and they yeah. looked pretty and yeah. so couldn't you do rose petals or something and i get it that those are probably handmade versus like mm -hmm. i don't know factory, but like i'm sure that there are like ones like that mm -hmm. but also factory made yeah. you know what i mean like i'm sure it's just not like independent i people feel like if you like them yeah, like with true. the resin and stuff like there must be a um you know there must be a company or manufacturer that does something like that mm -hmm. i just feel like they're really basic however if you, you know? were like starting with D, &D and you like ruby that i feel like this would be a say. good thing to start it's with because so it looks like it's my all my friends were saying that from a place of like they already play D, &D and they have mm -hmm. dice if you're doing like baby's first dice set mm -hmm. i think that this is probably like a good place to start and everybody like, remembers their first other than like the highly customized going on etsy and someone's pouring resin <laughs> in their basement yeah. like type of thing oh i've seen very, crazy like, stuff i've seen one that was like a hundred dollars it was 1d20 and it was made of human bone and it was it's like, crazy. yeah, like crazy stuff like yeah. that, right? And so that's the only thing I wish because I think it could have been cool to have like rose petals inside of the dice yeah. instead of like, mm -hmm. you know, just the color. If they went and it hard screams tie-dye to me too for some reason. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Maybe, like, who knows? Maybe, like, each individual one is, like, different. So I do like this. I do like oh, the rose on yeah, it. But, the like, one. they're all just sort of swirl black yeah. and red like i get those are ruby colors but i don't know and i also think that like unless they're planning to make one for each girl wouldn't it have made more sense to, to do, do one like, collection yeah. 
and then have one for each girl and mm -hmm. then maybe like because how many dice are there there's a wait no there's an even number so you could yeah. do ruby and juniper colors yeah. right so you could have that one be ruby like the one with the emblem and then you could have split them up between mm -hmm. the two teams right mm -hmm. so you could have had um a whole like a ruby dice because this isn't ruby red black like red mm -hmm. and black dice mm -hmm. this is ruby with a u like this is for the character this doesn't mm -hmm. really represent the show so mm -hmm. what i'm assuming is that they want these to sell well so they can sell one for each individual yeah. girl they want to do all blue or white yeah. if they decide to stick to the colors mm -hmm. they want to do all purple they want to do all yellow if it sells well but I think that in the case where it may not do as well as they're expecting, it would have been good to have one dice that encompassed the entire show instead of just starting with Ruby. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of other stuff in the shop where I'm like, are you testing the waters because you want to make yeah. this a thing? Mm -hmm. Like, there's just certain merch where I'm like, it seems like you're making this for this character. Because they are leaning and into D&D. And you want to make it a Thing, as a know? company like they have the ruby yeah. uh, one and they have an achievement hunter but i'm like but what if it doesn't D &D become show? a thing what if somebody doesn't want a white specific dice set like it would have just know. been nice to have a like an all-encompassing dice set for the unless they unless one, they I get think. nicer and nicer as time go on yeah although maybe. i do like the idea of them doing like an all-encompassing all the girls yeah and different. so that's my only problem is that like this is rainbow. like just ruby i think that it would have been nice to have one mm. for each like to represent you could have done ruby and, ruby and then oscar yeah yeah yeah, and so that's my only thing. But then it's like, okay, who gets the D20 and then like who gets like Well, the I guess, but like, you, you know, know, um, <laughs> I mean, like y'all, they can fight over that in the first <laughs> department, like, you know, so yeah. And so I get it, but that's my I think, only thing. Like baby's first one or you yeah. really like D&D. &D, yeah, I guess it works. And I also don't know, like, is this regular price for dice yeah. that are, I guess, again, more manufactured than, yeah. like, custom? So y'all let us know, because mm -hmm. I don't fucking know. And so that is basically it. And so I would say I give overall, this one, like, a C+. Plus. This, this, one? this one? Okay. Yeah, I think that's fair. And so I think that we're basically, like, I do, like, I think The that actual merch this is pretty is excellent. Like a minus. Yes. This one's a definite A. The box... I don't know. I'd be generous and maybe give that like a C, uh, a, minus? C a C, well, a C plus. Because I think it's neat. That's what I was I just say. don't get it. Yeah, you know? I don't get it. I, like for that price, I, I don't understand. And so mm -hmm. maybe it's just us. Maybe y'all would pay $80 Canadian <laughs> for a box. But yeah. And so that's the only thing is I think these are the two C pluses. And then yeah. all of this is like, well, the, you're the B. You're, like, you're eh. still the B. Um, <laughs> you're still the B minus. But like overall, like what is that? Like if you put it all those grades together, the median um, is probably about a B. Is about a B right? Because you, yeah. have, you have two A's, you have one B and then two C's. That yeah, evens out, right? Yeah. And so yeah, I, I think that's okay. It's pretty good. It's not velvet nice. teddy hoodie coming soon. Yeah, but, but what is velvet exactly, teddy hoodie? Exactly. Like, that's know? like A++. Plus plus. Like, you know how in England they have A star and then they have A star, like, infinity? Like, that's the velvet hoodie. So, really, you just can't beat that sometimes. And so, yeah, overall, I think that this is pretty decent. If you like DND, let us know what you think <laughs> and everything like that. Because, obviously, like, I've played once, but I don't play. You know what I mean? It's played mm -hmm. past tense. It's not play as in, you know. And you played on online didn't use actual dice yeah and so that's just like where i am with that and so yeah i hope that you all enjoyed this uh yes or pass and we will see you in the next one hopefully i hope that like hell of a boss will come out soon because yeah like, i was thinking about it's that been recently. a minute so i they did say that they needed more time to like do the next episode so mm -hmm. i wonder if we'll do like another um hell of a boss haul oh. like busy pop merch because i think that we've done enough ruby we've done four ruby <laughs> we need to merch. bully someone else exactly now. and so yeah that is all from us and we will see you in the next one bye